Hello guys and welcome back to another Train Sim World 2 video. Today, as you can see, I'm at Paddington Underground Station. I've just caught the train from Slough to London Paddington, the fast intercity service. And today I'm off to Wembley Central to see England play in the final of Euro 2020. That's right guys, England are in the final. It's on Sunday, I know, but do you know what? Who cares? We're still in the final and I just can't wait. So today I'll be driving the next service to Harrow and Wheelstone. I'll be driving that all the way to Emily Central and then that will be it. So only a minute left to wait. Um, and yeah, just to see England. So in case you don't know already, we beat Denmark and um, it's, the trophy's just getting a little bit closer, you know. Football's coming home. And that's what everyone's been singing recently. Uh, but yeah, very excited to um, to go to Wembley and actually see the, the Euro 2020 final. But, obviously we're here in Trenton World 2, there isn't the Wembley Stadium landmark in the game yet. That's fine. Uh, we'll just wait a minute. Where's the train? Here it is. It's just approaching. Uh, I, I, need, I need to get to the front, don't I? No? Yeah? Nope. That way? coming that way so I'll just wait for the train and then I'll drive it all the way to Wembley Central here it is hello 1972 stop great off I go on I go and into the cab hello I'll take over from here Let's drive this short service to Han Wheelstone, but obviously we'll be stopping at Wembley Central. Of uh, course, cool. yeah, I forgot. I need to set up the entire train, don't I? Okay, well, um, let's shut the doors. I think everything's set up, isn't it? Yeah, probably. All right, let's go. Next stop, Warwick Avenue. Of course, yeah, let's let's do this. And that. Obviously this is summer clear. Obviously the weather outside my house right now isn't really clear. Um hasn't really been feeling like summer recently. Cold and you know, lots of wind, lots of rain. But hopefully on Sunday it will be what we call summer, you know, clear and hot. But yeah, what are your thoughts, guys, on uh, England making it to the final? Do you think it's going to come home? Do you think we're going to win? Who knows? To be fair, who knows? You know, I'm quite excited myself, being an England, fa England fan. Uh, but anyways, you never know what Italy could throw at us in the final. Obviously, we're playing Italy. Okay, let me just bring this to a steady stop. There we go. I love the braking on this train. Um, we're a little bit, tiny, tiny bit late. Lovely to see the passengers getting out. I do expect all the passengers to get off at Wembley. Uh, shut the doors. Obviously, there are three ways to get to Wembley Stadium. There is on the Bakerloo line, the train I'm driving right now, off to Wembley Central. Actually, to be fair, there are four ways. There's uh, the London Northwestern Railway. Um, previously London Midland, London Northwestern Railway from Euston to Wembley Central. Uh, that's, that's a bit quicker than this service, but it's a bit more expensive. There's the Metropolitan and Jubilee lines to Wembley Park, which is on the other side of Wembley. And then you've got, of course, the Chiltern Railways to Wembley Stadium. And that will literally take you to Wembley Stadium. You can literally see the arch from the Class 165. Okay, 30 miles an hour. Just 
just hovering at that speed limit, 30 miles an hour. There we go. Coming in at Maida Vale. the rear static braking on this train really is cool actually do you know why do we need both I can just put right here yeah. obviously Bakerloo line will always be in my top three favorite routes for a train sim world 2 See that almost all of them are good. Every single route there is on, on this game. station is Kilburn Park. So basically, this is kind of like the uh, a, a Wembley shuttle. Just gonna watch that red signal. Final Euro is going to be absolutely great. Biden. But obviously, right now, tickets are, are expensive. I've seen um, they're being sold at five grand for a single ticket. And people are actually buying them for five thousand pounds. Honestly, it's quite mad. There are many give giveaways, of course. Um, people are doing giveaways because obviously with the uh, lack of tickets available. Um, but yeah, obviously most people will be supporting England, which is what we love to see. One train. Next stop is Queen's Park. to mind the gap between the train and the platform. It's not really minding the gap, is it? And off we go. Bravo Bravo 32 and Bravo Bravo 31 turning to go. And obviously 10 mile and now speed limit. Okay, 
this is the Queen's Park shed, uh, northbound. Obviously, the southbound is is over here. Southbound, southbound siding. Obviously, I decided to um, do the service at 20 to 7. Obviously, kickoff is at 8, so I want to get there with as much time to leave as possible to, you know, get some refreshments, um, just have some fun just before what the DC line rejoins us from London Euston. I think we can reach 40 miles an hour. Kensal Green, a light here for London Overground. Obviously, class 378, class 378 refresh, and the class 710. Yeah, I almost forgot that for a second. I should really remember the Bombardier Ventures. I mean, there are so many. Obviously, with um, uh, the 701 Adventure. Uh, coming into the Southwestern Railway, replacing the fairly recent 707s. I'm not sure why the Desiros are being uh, removed. Um, fair enough. Uh, and obviously you've got the 720s for Greater Anglia. Uh, great, yeah, Greater Anglia. And of course the 730s for Western Midlands Railway. Which uh, is due to be put in service shortly. Perhaps in the next two or three years. Perhaps even next year. I'm not sure, I haven't really followed the class 730. I know the 720's in service, 710's in service. Uh, obviously 7, 7, 701 is in service. And obviously 345 has been in service for almost two years now. Three years actually. Uh, if you count the uh, Great Eastern Main Line. Here's another Bakerloo line, that one is probably off to Elephant and Castle. If we make that definitely off to Elephant and Castle. Next station, Wilston Junction. Very nice train. This is 
Very abrupt breaking though. And it's quite quiet as well, unlike the um, diesel cars with zigs. The cars with the degrees not quiet, it's quite loud. What else? Loud locomotives. Class 08, it's quite loud. Pretty much every single diesel locomotive in the UK is quite loud. Whether it's old or it's new or it's not in service anymore, it doesn't matter. They're all quite loud. I don't think of any loud electric train in England at least. If I have to go to Germany, I have to think of the Eurosprinter. The Eurosprinter Taurus is quite loud. Um, it's a musical train. Uh, Trax is quite loud. Mm, and that's all I can think of. Some S bahn trains as well. Here we are entering the longest station on the route, Harleston. It's about 250 or so metres, which is um, pretty long considering we've got um, a seven carriage 72 stock. There we go. Yes, thank you. Obviously running adjacent to the West Coast main line. Do you know, I think we figured that out right now. But in case some of you didn't know. Just two stops from Wembley Station now. Next stop and that's it. And after that, that's it actually. Yeah. It's up here. And this is the depot. Stonebridge Park depot. Next station is Stonebridge Park. That'll do. You should really see Wembley um, Stadium, the actual stadium from here. Obviously in real life you, you would. Um, obviously not in game, obviously Wembley Stadium still not in game. And it won't be in game for a while until probably rush hour is released. Obviously it's in game for those playing on PC, uh, but not on um, PlayStation 4 slash Xbox without PC players. console basically. This is Stonebridge Park siding. Right on the right. And Wembley Central is of course our next station stop.
okay? Just being aware of that 40 mile an hour speed restriction. And lovely, we've got a red signal just after Wembley. Obviously after Wembley I'll just get off the train and abandon the service. Try and see if I can find myself a way out. Okay, we've got steep gradient and yeah, obviously Wembley is somewhere along the midst. It's, it, I don't think it's very far from Wembley Central. I've never been to Wembley Central. I've been to Wembley Park and Wembley Stadium. I, I don't think Wembley Stadium is far from Wembley. This is a long station as well. And lovely to see another Bakerloo Line service here dropping fans off at Wembley Stadium to see the Euro 2020 final and that will be it right that is it I'm just gonna get off the train of this station obviously not everyone's gonna get off here and I am out of here and that will be it for today Let's see if I can find myself a way out should be here Okay. Yeah, I'll be there anyway. You'll tell me to abandon the service, which I'll do. But I'll just get over to the bridge and I'll end the video there. Hang on. Let me just get to the bridge. Uh, here we are. I don't think I can go here now. And that will be it for today's video, guys. So. Thanks all for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did like the video, please smash the like button, um, hit the thumbs up, of course, and of course, uh, subscribe to the channel uh, for more of this kind of content. Obviously, I'm a bit busy with a couple of other things, but I do up upload Train to World 2 content. And um, obviously, if you think England's going to win the final, if you think it's going to come, if football's going to come home, make sure to hit the thumbs up. I'm expecting loads of thumbs up. Um, and yeah, make sure to subscribe for regularly, re regular videos. Uh, but for now, thanks all for watching. Bye bye for now.